I've bought myself a new multimeter and this is the BT90 EPD. And this is quite a cheap multimeter. It was approximately 30 pounds. Actually a very similar price to this one, which I've had for many years. But this has got a flaw for video recording that I'm hoping this is going to solve. A bit bigger. I think that's a temperature probe. Right, and the notes are just a single page of A4, but this QR code should be a link to an app. Okay, that battery clip felt pretty cheap. So the first big difference from my old multimeter is this is auto ranging. So on this one, I would have to select an appropriate range. Here I should just be able to select say voltage and I don't need to worry about the range at all. Now here's the five volts coming out of my USB desktop adapter. So that's telling me 5.15. And I had to select the 20 volt range there. That's saying 5.16. I'd need an additional calibrated device to actually tell which one was correct there, but pretty similar results. I don't have very much need for highly accurate results, so it doesn't matter to me that much. Okay, so let's talk about why I actually wanted this. One problem I have recording videos using this multimeter is I'm relying on a camera picking up the contents of the screen. And if I just tilt the screen around very slightly or just sit it on the desk and move it around, you can see that it's very easy for me to get this into a position where the screen becomes unreadable because the screen is very reflective. Now this probably is gonna suffer from the same problem. Now I'm able to demonstrate that because I've got the camera quite zoomed in and I can see the screen. When I've got the larger build out, I don't get to uh, constantly monitor the, uh, the preview. So um, I've recorded a few bits of footage where the multimeter screen was essentially unreadable. And that's a real shame. But for this, it's got an interesting feature, which is an app. Right, so I think I've got this app set up. So this basically connects automatically. I didn't need to do anything. The response time's a bit slower than my old multimeter. But the reason why I fancied getting the app was so I could use the screen record. Here's a circuit I want to take a look at. I spend an awful lot of my time just doing basic continuity checking. There, I'm keen to see those wires connect and then the neighboring ones don't connect. Right now, obviously I could choose between showing just this analog display bit, maybe of a numeric form, possibly both, but being able to display this on the screen, I think is gonna be a nice advantage to um, making the videos nice and readable. Obviously how good this is as a multimeter is something that I'm probably not experienced enough to just sit down and test thoroughly, but I will give a bit of feedback on this later on once I've actually been using it for a while. Temperature sensor might be useful. I quite like the fact that I could um, log data over an extended period of time. That might be useful at some point in the future as well. Of course, I will need to remember to turn off notifications before I uh, start using my main phone as the recording target for this. But I hope it's obvious the, uh, the kind of thing I was thinking when I went looking for a multimeter with the app. All right, so I will definitely report back in a while after I've used this a bit. Hopefully I'll have an excuse to use this in a main video at some point soon, and then we can get a feel for uh, how well this is behaving. I've not used it enough to 
officially recommend it or not but uh, at 30 pounds then i think this is a fairly low risk i do like to try out cheap tools before i invest in expensive tools because you can spend an awful lot of money on a multimeter and i've i've got by for a long time with a very cheap one but i have provided links to amazon for this device if anyone's interested hope you found it interesting i'll see you again soon goodbye